This video is a brief summary of how Visicon can be used for smarter reviewing and checking of Revit models. Does your project use Revit models but all the details are locked up with a few Revit experts? Visicon can help expand who can efficiently work with the information locked in those Revit models and improve overall project productivity. Visicon's collection of BIM tools provide easy-to-use access to anyone who needs to review, markup, measure, walk through, section, or validate a Revit model. No expertise, Revit license, expensive subscription, or modeling knowledge is needed. With the adoption of Visicon, project teams can work directly in the 3D models and avoid first creating multiple 2D PDFs to communicate or review project information. With the right tools, working directly in 3D can be more effective. Ultimately, Visicon is the faster and smarter way to review and verify Revit models. Let's switch to a sample model. Our model review is going to start in Revit where we have the Visicon plugin and we're going to use the export option to create a highly efficient Visicon version of the model. The model has now been created in Visicon. I went ahead and saved the model so that we could do an initial comparison between the original Revit model, which you can see here is just a little over 37 megabytes, and the resulting very highly compact Visicon version of the same exact Revit information. All geometric and non-geometric parameters are maintained in this file, and you can see it's less than two megabytes. This makes it highly portable and for anybody on your project team then to access the information in that Revit model it's as simple as just double clicking on that Visicon VXF file. It's now opened up the Revit model in Visicon. If we zoom into any location here select one of these components. On the left side you have easy access to all of the relevant project and component information. So here you have the general properties. You have access to all of the instance properties as well as access to all of the family information. For example for this beam we can see that it has the dimension properties H, T, B, K, R, and T. On the right side, we can use the project browser to explore all of the other characteristics of the model. For example, we can explore what are all the different component types that are in the model. We can break it down by different levels, by different material types. And each time you change to a different categorization of the information, the coloring of the model changes as well so that you can quickly see which components are associated to which category. You can look at it by discipline, by Revit family, so this color code codes and identifies which Revit families were used in the model. By unique geometry, this clearly identifies which components are geometrically unique. Next we come to the filters tab. Visicon offers very flexible filters that allow you to use a natural language to define any type of filter to identify components in your model very quickly. For example here we're just using broad category, identifying, and we can go ahead and isolate those, identifying all columns or 8 inch slabs, all slabs, or here something a little more advanced where we're saying we're trying to identify identify slender HSS beams. Here we're doing a check between length of the beam divided by its dimension HT, and if that value is greater than 10, we've isolated those. So this just gives you an example of how the filters can work. Validation rules are an advanced implementation of filters that also allow you to add some additional colorization logic. So here, for example, we're coloring all 8-inch slabs yellow, all 7.5-inch slabs green. Under the Home tab, you have various navigation modes. So we have walk, gravity, under visibility. The main thing here to highlight is that it makes it very easy to turn on and off different types of components that you have, and it covers all of the general Revit categories of components. Models is where you would merge and manage multiple models to create a federated version combining architectural, plumbing, mechanical, electrical, that can all be done easily here under the Models tab. Views and Markups allows you to add both 3D as well as 2D markups. Let's do a quick example. We're going to go to our default view. We're going to insert a new view. We're going to zoom into this model. We're going to add a clip plane by just selecting that surface, adding a clip plane so we have a clip plane there. We'll add another clip plane to the other surface right here. So we've now created a simple section of our model. We'll go ahead and use the Markup Pen tool. Then we'll come in and do a call out. We can go and do add a polygon here. You can go and manage all of these mark 2D markups on your views. So this is now a dedicated view here. We still have our default view. So this is the new view that we just created with our 2D overlays. Moving on to measure and takeoff, we're going to take this last view that we created, right click, we're going to copy it, we're going to unlock the view so that we can rotate the view again. And we're gonna come into this section right here. We go to measure and take off. We're gonna start with clearance. So we can see we have a clearance of five and a half feet left, 7.417 feet vertically. We also have very advanced snapping option. So here we're going to go ahead and so you can see there's a variety of snapping. We're going to keep our edge snapping 
as a starting point. So you see those are turned on, going back to the measure, doing linear. It is as simple as that to just come in and grab the corners, get a very accurate and reliable measurement of five and a half feet for the base of that beam. Moving on to operations. So operations are really where we've put in all of the advanced model checking rules like class checking, finding duplicates, clearance check. Boolean difference is a great one. This allows you to do a true geometric comparison between any two versions of a model. Variance check is very powerful. You can either compare geometric changes or any other non-geometric parameter like material properties, supplier. We allow you to create and define and track issues. Under colorize, you can come in and you can very quickly jump around and look at different versions of your components based on different colorization. Inventory allows you to quickly come in and also do quantity. So for example, if I grab this slab under the inventory, you can now see exactly how many square feet it has. So this slab has 9,341 square feet and has a volume of 6,227 cubic feet. If I select both of these or multiple slabs, now it just adds them up. So this is what we call dynamic inventory. So under reports, we provide a wide variety of reports. We have coordinate installation reports, inventory. So this allows you to create very detailed quantity takeoffs that are grouped based on different properties. We can export any of the properties of the components as well as bring in external data and display them. We also have a component matching report that allows you to compare the column designations and attributes of an merged analytic model with the actual Revit designations that you have. We have variance reports, view and markup summaries, issue summaries. To complete our model review, let's go through some of the predefined views that we have. So this is just looking at the overall view in ortho mode. This is one of the validation rules that's applying standard colorization to different components based on their thickness. Here's a, a section. Here's a level isolated in ortho mode, an elevation view with its markups, lots of different examples of measurements, measurements along a clip plane. Here again, we've colorized by the slab thickness and we're showing an example of a 3D annotation. Again, more annotation examples and these are the two views we created. So download your copy of Visicon's free viewer at visicon.com. You require a professional license for the advanced model checking features that we highlighted in this video. Visicon opens any Revit, IFC, ETABS, ADAPT, OBJ, and point cloud models. Again, it's important to notice it's not just limited to the structural examples that we showed. Contact sales at visicon.com for any product or pricing inquiries.